back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a, uh, I think it's called like a bath caddy or a bath plank. Somewhere, you know, something that goes over a bath. Um, a friend of mine wants one for his wife for a Christmas present, so I said of course I'll make him one. And, you know, it's got to have somewhere for an iPad to go, uh, so you know, she can watch something while she's in the bath. You know, a couple of recesses for some candles, maybe a nice big recess for a glass so she can have a drink. And then we're going to scroll like a little message onto it uh, from him to her, just to let her, her know that you know he had it done for her, uh, personally made for her. <laughs> going to make this out of a plank of pine, uh, mostly because of pine's properties when it comes to withstanding water. It's going to be you know above a bath which uh, will be steaming hot, um, so this will stand up to long-term use uh, really well. I'm going to slap some colour on it, going to stain it so it's nice and dark, uh, just so it looks like, you know, a bit more cosy. Um, so I've got the dimensions for it, um, going to chop it off at the right height, and then we'll have a look at it and sort of see whether it needs to be a bit thinner, just to be a bit more aesthetically pleasing. And uh, we're going to recess some stuff into it, and then using the engraver, write a message on it, and uh, it should, should be good to go. A uh, couple of coats of stain, and then probably a coat of lacquer over the top as well. Uh, just to give it that bit of uh, added protection, but uh, Jamie, mate, this one's for you. All right, um, hope you like it. Enjoy.
two pieces have come off really well. Uh, okay, so we've got the bottom board that will sit over the top of the bath. Okay, uh, divot there for her iPad. Um, and then this part here, just put a simple mortise and tenon on, but that will be a really strong uh, backboard for her iPad so it doesn't fall in the water. A couple of holes here for some uh, for some tea lights, okay, and then written a message. All right, it looks a bit dark right now because it's got the, the pencil inside it but once we've gone over it with the uh, with the stain that'll all look really really nice stain I'm going to use is this country cedar and now it's time to take both these bits apart and uh, cover them in stain stain gone on the board and I've got to say it's come up pretty well what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another layer on this just to give it a bit more and then we're going to spray it down with some lacquer to give it some uh, protection um, and then this should be ready to go okay so that's two coats of uh, stain done on both the main board and the back piece as well it's come up really really nice it's got a beautiful color on it uh, so this is all ready to be lacquered now uh, so I'm just going to give this a clean off just get rid of the dust that's on it and then lacquer it down Give that half hour to go off, give it another coat, half hour again, flip it over, do the back, and then we can glue the backboard to the main board and we're finished. Okay, they've both had two coats of lacquer now, uh, so we're ready to glue up now. I've just got this little thing, it's called a glue bot. Uh, it's a really handy bit of kit because you fill the reservoir up with your wood glue and then it takes from the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, but it takes it from the bottom and puts it up this spout and then comes out here. So you always get fresh glue uh, rather than the scummy stuff at the top that might have a bit of a skin on it. Now you can get these, uh, they are on Amazon but they are a ridiculous price and I mean a ridiculous price for what it is. Um, so don't get seen off, don't get it from Amazon because there's a lot of unscrupulous people on there just trying to overcharge for these. I'm going to glue the backboard to the, uh, to the main board and then we're done, we're finished. Okay, so that's the bath caddy finished. Here it is. Hope you can see that. I really like it. It's come out a beautiful colour. It's really hardy. Put plenty of layers of lacquer on it, so it's really, really well protected. Uh, this backboard is sturdy as hell. The mortise and tenon really help there. And I've tested it, not in the bath, but I've tested it with my iPad and it, it stands up really well. It's really, uh, really quite secure. Uh, the message has come out really well, um, apart from my handwriting. And then the recesses here for some candles um, so she you know she can enjoy a, uh, a nice nice well-earned relaxing bath so Jamie fingers crossed you like this pal hope your missus does as well uh, fingers crossed she doesn't see this before Christmas otherwise that's her present blown um, but I'll get this to you as soon as possible so thanks for joining me again uh, it's been really good fun making this bath plank um, I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you like to, there's a like button down below and a subscribe button down next to that. So please hit both of those. Um, come back and join me next time. There's loads of more coming. Loads of ideas coming. A um, couple of big ones, a couple of small ones, a few on the lathe, a couple of bowl turns, um, stuff like that. So if you want to come back, please hit the subscribe button. That would be great. Very much appreciated. Uh, check out the other videos in, on my channel. They're up along the side here somewhere. Or they might be that side. I don't know. And... 
I'll catch you next time back in the workshop. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.